I'm Farmer Girl and I thought I'd give you a quick update on what's happening here with our property. Um, right here, Mr. Pretend Farmer Girl put in some concrete so that when we drive in the gate and come to the left, we'll have a better place to park. And this area that is um, rototilled is going to be a temporary vegetable garden. Um, eventually this will be my whole uh, butterfly bee garden, you know, roses um, but for now I'm impatient so I want to get some some um, seeds in the ground and see what I can grow um, let's see now the plastic over here what we're doing is it is the grass is pretty intense here and we have decided to put in our grape vines and our blackberry vines in between the trees now we're gonna keep the trees pruned small because we don't need tons of fruit um, so in between where, where you see this black plastic here, we're going to have some more black plastic on the left, but in between here is where we're going to put, um, the vines with the, the trellis and everything. And, um, trees are doing well. It looks like my peach tree over there. See there. Yeah. My peach tree didn't survive and one of my avocados didn't. So, um, that's okay. But over here, I have some Seminole pumpkins growing. And um, I don't know if I will actually get a pumpkin from it, but we shall see. Um, I have some beans growing that I wanna transfer, elephant ears. I have a pineapple top that I'm starting to grow. This is called a um, blackberry vine. Um, this is passion flower. Now it's full of holes because it's the only host plant to a certain type of caterpillars. Oh, there they are. Hope you can see them. And so basically you just let them eat what they need and it's not gonna affect the plant. Um, it's just going to make it look yucky for right now. Um, I have two small rosels um, that makes really good tea and you can make jam out of it. Um, my two echinacea plants died. I don't know if they go dormant, but there's all the seeds. I got all the seeds. Um, this is my cranberry hibiscus and I've been harvesting um, the blooms off of this and drying and then it goes to tea. And here's part, first part of my butterfly garden and this is interesting because this is milkweed and milkweed are the hosts are the host plants for the monarch butterflies and everybody is talking about man they they can't find any milkweed now I haven't seen any monarch butterflies around here but this got eaten um, and it's okay because the leaves will come back and it helps the bees um, let's see I have some ever-bearing tomato plants that are starting up here that I'm going to plant. They're really small cherry tomatoes, but um, they grow really well in Florida. Um, let's see. And back here we have our chicken coop. And it looks gross right now because we have that up for shade. Oh, they're coming out to me like, what do you have for me now? What do you have for me now? Because every time I come out here, I bring them food. But I just... Um, put that shade up the uh, fitted sheet up there for shade for them but this week we're actually gonna get something else to go around it's to make it look a lot nicer hello girls hello did you come out to meet me I already gave you lots of food today um, let's see we have 15 15 chickens uh, 14 hens, one rooster. We did have three roosters, but they didn't work out, so they became dinner. So we're still working out the details of this um, as far as their um, nesting boxes and, and their roosts and everything. But um, so far, it's been fun. I've been getting an average of four a day, and um, the people that we got them from said that it could probably take two weeks for them to completely relax and start laying normally. Um, over here, as you know, Mr. Pretend Farmer Girl is working on the barn. Um, it's 50, it's gonna be 54 by 80. It's gonna be a red barn. I'm so excited. 
and he has dug out all of the trenching for this um so much dirt like you can see um he's kind of putting dirt anywhere he can and by the way over there is where our aquaponics and our greenhouse is going to go i have been working in the house trying to get it livable but um as you can see here he has um dug all of the rows for the footings he dug extra just because he didn't want to have to worry about the fittings being exact. And there's hard-working Mr. Pretend Farmer Girl. And uh, I, I couldn't do what I'm doing here without him. He's been so helpful. Um, so that's the update for now. Um, I will up update you more as things uh, move along. But uh, that's it for now. So this is Pretend Farmer Girl, signing out.